Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and this is gonna be a very short video showing you how to change the theme color of Optimus Flow. Before I do dive into things, I just wanted to let you know if you are interested in trying out a demo of Optimus Flow, if you haven't done so already, please head over down to the description below. And the first link available is the demo signup page for Optimus Flow. So if you're interested in the platform, feel free to sign up. We'll provide you with a 14 day rhythmic free trial so you can receive some futures data on Optimus Flow and begin testing it today. So now to the topic of this video, I'll be showing you how to change a theme color, the overall theme color of your platform, and I'll show you how you can customize your chart background colors as well. So if you weren't familiar, Optimus Flow does allow you to customize the overall theme color of the platform. This is going to change various features throughout the platform and give them a different color. Now you can do so by right clicking on the main toolbar at the top of the page here and going to general settings. General settings is also located to the left of your time zone here. Just click on the cog wheel and this will open up general settings. And the first thing in general settings is theme. If you haven't browsed through the general settings, it's very easy to miss. So just wanted to show you how to do so. So just head over to the theme field here and scroll through the available options. I personally like dark autumn. It gives you a nice gray dark theme with an orange tinge to it. And it really just highlights everything really nicely. Some other theme themes that we have is dark forest, which is a similar theme, gives you darker backgrounds in a green outline. We have dark gold, same thing, a nice dark background with a gold highlight around it. Then for those of you that like a lighter theme, maybe you work at nighttime or you just need a brighter background, we have light gold, which is similar. It gives you a uh, white background, but with a gold trim. And then we have light water, which is again, similar, but with a white background, a bluish tinge, and then a blue border on everything. So when you do so and choose one of these themes, it is likely going to change the background of your charts to that theme color as well. You're more than welcome to mix and match and customize as needed. If you like to change the background color of essentially any window throughout the platform, in this example, we'll be showing a chart. All you need to do is right click on your chart, head down to settings. It's typically going to be within the view tab here. And then you can see we have windows colors. So you can choose the back top color. And, and this is going to actually give you almost a gradient theme. So just to show you here, let's do sticking with the white and blue theme. We could do a uh, dark blue top color. So you can see we have a nice gradient here. You can do the bottom color as well. If you want to make the same, you know, a solid color, you could pick both of these here. So we have a, this solid dark blue. You can change it to something else, maybe yellow if you want to get uh, a little crazy. You can mix and match, like I said. We can change it to one whole thing. So we could just do black on black for those of you that prefer a, you know, white overall theme with maybe darker charts. Really just depends. On the theme of colors here, just to show you, you can customize your crosshair color. So since we changed it to a black background now, it may be a little bit harder to see our crosshair on this white theme. So maybe we want to change our crosshair to white to make it uh, see it a little easier. You can change things such as the um, the actual style of the crosshair. So before it's dashed, maybe a little bit harder to see. Here's a solid one, much easier to see. See, you can do this as well with font colors. You can synchronize this so all your charts have the same theme if you prefer that. You can customize themes or uh, other things such as grid as well. And then you can do time colors as well. So pretty much everything throughout this platform you're going to be able to customize with a right click on your chart or the you know corresponding window that you're choosing in, whether it's a dome or a dome surface. Right click, go into settings, go into view, change the colors there. Again, the overall platform theme is going to change everything as well with it. So again, this can be found under general settings, general theme, and then choose the corresponding option that you enjoy. 
like I said, real quick video, just covering the customization options of theme themes and, you know, chart background colors on Optimus Flow. Again, if you want to try out a demo, feel free to sign up using the link in the description below. Down in the description is also the link for our community forum. So if you do try out the demo and you have any questions, you want to give us feedback, you have concern about features, please drop a post on our community forum so we can address the issue and implement changes with our developers. We'd really appreciate your feedback. As always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more Optimus Flow content, informational podcasts, videos, much more. And as always, thanks for watching.